Preparations are in the final stages for the World Meeting of Families in Rome. Postponed for one year because of the pandemic, the meeting takes place in June with the theme Family Love, a Vocation and a Path to Holiness. St. John Paul II created the initiative back in 1994. The previous World Meeting of Families was held in 2018 in Dublin, Ireland. Joining us now from Rome is Andreas Tannhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to see you as always. Um, can you tell us more about the World Meeting of Families happening in Rome in June? Sure. Thank you, Tracy. In exactly eight weeks from now, Rome will be the host city to the 10th World Meeting of Families. And EWT and EWTN will be a media partner for the event, covering it in four languages live from St. Peter's. The main organizers are the Vatican Dicastery for the Laity and the Vicariate or the Diocese of Rome. They ask EWTN to help bring the message of the meeting to all continents, which we will happily do. Family love, a vocation and a path to holiness. This is the theme, Tracy, for the world meeting, chosen by Pope Francis himself. Because of COVID, the meeting had to be postponed for a year and is now taking place in Rome only for a limited, limited amount of delegate families from across the world. All others are invited to join remotely through the parishes and communities wherever they live. There will be a so-called Feast of the Families, a two-day conference and a festive final mass with Pope Francis. The families will be sent back into their home dioceses after the Angelus on Sunday. Everyone can already make themselves acquainted with the catechesis, so the talks that will be held during this conference online on the website of the World Meeting. And because of this close partnership between our network and the diocese, I'm also standing here inside the beautiful Lateran Palace, the seat of the Vicariate of Rome. And this room here is right next to the bedroom of the Holy Father. As the Bishop of Rome, he has his official quarters not only in the Vatican, but also here as well. The Diocese of Rome invited us to do our Roman Nights event here. And Andreas, talk to us a little bit more about that. I understand another panel discussion uh, of Roman Nights is taking place. So, yeah, EWTN Roman Nights is all about bringing people together and sharing an inspiring evening about topics related to life and faith. Tonight, we are talking about communicating the gospel in our modern times. And Tracy, we have a fantastic panel. The idea of Roman Nights is really to have people with different backgrounds sharing their experiences. So tonight, we have a media manager, an art historian, and a priest and professor, all three of them inspiring personalities with a strong communications background. I'm really looking forward to this. It will be available online on our YouTube channels and a summary will be shown in the next Vaticano episode, the weekly show we produce here from Rome. And to be honest, I am a little bit nervous tonight, Tracy, because one of the panelists is our CEO and chairman of the board, Michael Warsaw, who has been in Rome for other matters and was so kind to agree to be on the panel as well. He's also my boss, so this better go well. <laughs> I'm sure it will go wonderfully. Um, I, I want to talk about where you are again. Uh, you mentioned you're at the Lateran uh, Palace. So give us a little bit of an idea of its historical importance. So the Lateran Palace was the residence of popes for about a thousand years. But when the pontiff returned from his long period in France in 1377, it was abandoned. The Vatican was designated as the place chosen to host the Pope, not only for the geographical aspects that made it a safer place, but especially because of the presence of the tomb of Peter. The Lateran Palace is next to the Basilica of St. John the Lateran, and now it houses the historical museum of the Papal States, the offices of the Vicariate of Rome, and the apartment of the Cardinal Vicar of the Pope for Rome and the district. Right here in 1929, in the Hall of, Con of the Conciliation, a very important historical event took place. It was the signing of the Lateran Pacts, whose signatories were the head of the Italian government, back then Benito Mussolini, and the Secretary of State uh, of Pope Pius XI, Cardinal Gaspari. An event that for the Vatican meant the independence and sovereignty of the Holy See, as well as important privileges granted to the Church. Well, Andreas, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.